Once again, the beautiful game with its hooligans and fanatics has turned very, very ugly. Ahead of the Madrid Derby, a passerby took the following video. A dummy hanging over a bridge. The racist behind it, let it be known, the black figure is supposed to be Vinicius Jr., Real Madrid's darling forward. The banner translates to Madrid hates Real. Ahead of their last matchup, this was the scene outside the stadium grounds. ESPN's Gab Marcati would translate the chant. They were yelling, you're a monkey, Vinicius, you're a monkey. This rivalry, like many loyalists who feel no line is ever crossed, has brought out the evils of sports, with fan behavior hitting low after low after low. When these two teams squared off, Vinicius was racially abused yet again in September of 2022. Most recently, when Madrid took on Real Valladolid, there was more racism taking place at the stadium grounds. That occurred just weeks ago. As we brought to you previously, La Liga president Javier Tebas did not give encouragement after yet another incident of fan racism. There's never been anything akin to the U.S. civil rights movement in Europe, in part because there are so few black Europeans. What is taboo in the U.S. simply isn't in Europe. The continent, in fact, is home to dozens of far-right political parties, many of which have become popular by breeding fear of black and Muslim immigrants. In the stadiums, all of this makes for a combustible mix. The Spanish National Police have since opened an investigation for a possible hate crime. Police stationed near the bridge went to remove it as soon as they became aware of what went down. The banner reading Madrid hates Real was no longer hanging there, the press office said. Gustavo Hoffman of ESPN would show the picture of the doll with the accompanying tweet as if the unacceptable cases of racism against Venetius were not enough. Now this threat arises. Very serious. In addition to the necessary police investigation, clubs and everyone involved in Spanish football need to speak up and act. The threshold has long since been crossed. Atletico Madrid would release a statement on their own team website which read, such acts are absolutely repugnant and inadmissible and shame society. Our condemnation of any act that attacks the dignity of persons or institutions is categorical and unreserved. The rivalry between the two clubs is the greatest, but so is respect. No individual, whatever their intentions or colors, can tarnish the coexistence between different supporters. It is everyone's responsibility to avoid this. This all comes after Venetius criticized Tebas, saying they are not doing enough to curb racism. Tebas did not relent and defended himself against Venetius, saying the star's comments were unfair. Venetius was also targeted by racist insults during games away at Barcelona in October 2021 and Mallorca in 2022 of March. On both occasions, La Liga filed former complaints, but the prosecutors decided not to pursue them. Which, look, this begs the question, why are they not pursuing this? What are the ulterior motives to just end this completely or at least not go through some sort of litigation to have Venetius' back? It just seems off to me. Hard not to agree with Venetius as no fans were banned from the grounds from the September incident of note. Outside of Atletico's grounds, fans were given a partial stadium ban for performing Nazi salutes in a Champions League match against Manchester City in April of 2022. Venetius has also weighed in time and time again. All the racist people must pay in some way. They like to watch soccer, so those Atletico Madrid fans should never be allowed to step foot in a stadium again. That will make them suffer the consequences and reflect about their actions.